Okay, good morning. Today is a busy day. It's the day that we've been counting down for, basically. This is the retirement of the Phantom F4. <coughs> So we're going to do the final flight. There's like going to be a retirement ceremony. So it's going to be we're going to be out there pretty much all day. The event starts. The gates will open at eight today, and so in about an hour or so. <coughs> Goodness, I'm still sick, obviously. So. I don't really feel well. Like, I feel like my head's about to explode. But, we can't stop. Halt the progress of what's supposed to happen today because I have a cold. So, whatever. Okay. So, before we go out today, I have to get some hauls in my throat to try and. So I'm not coughing all day long. So I'm going to be out on the flight line taking pictures. And it's kind of cloudy right now. But I'm hoping the sun comes out. Because if it's a cloudy, gloomy day, then that's going to suck. You know? It was really nice yesterday. It was clear. Just the little streaks of clouds in the sky. Just super clear and pretty. And it was like fairly warm today it'll be the exact opposite of that <laughs> so we're like oh hopefully t t um, tomorrow is just like today so whatever my part of it I have to be there at 9 at the area I need to be at then we're going to get me and one of the uh, videographer we're going to get uh, we'll be driven to the area where the takeoff is going to happen so we can get good footage of that then we'll be kind of driven to a different to the landing zone pretty much so we can get footage of that when they land and while they're in the air hopefully we can get footage of them in the air and we're in a good location to get that i have my telephoto and hopefully i can see get good footage um yeah, and then hopefully we get brought back there in time enough for me to get some really good portraits. So I kind of really want to do that. The only thing I'm concerned about is because there's limited parking where the actual event is. So they were supposed to be carpooling over there. But me and the other uh, videographer, we're not going to the same place they're going. But somehow we're going to end up over there. So we're not going to have our vehicles there. Our vehicles are going to be at the place where we um, started. So once it's all over we're kind of going to be stranded unless we can somehow get away to get taken back to our cars at base ops hopefully that happens i mean i'm sure there'll be someone out there maybe with a golf cart or something who could drive us on the flight line over there so not really gonna worry about that but you know these things happen like that there's just what you plan 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 and then you realize you ain't plan enough so welcome to public affairs where we plan we plan and we plan but we don't plan all the way and also got my tea clear my throat oh mm, it's so hot it's good shoot i thought i didn't bring my hat whoo is in the back seat with Edric. okay we'll take him in here and i'll be back you know what's funny to me? This is not just military, obviously. I'm about to do a quick little rant. But this is obviously not um, exclusive to the military. Um, you can see this in, I'm sure, everywhere. But, you know, as you, you know, there's a hierarchy, obviously, in every workplace. Those that make it to a certain hierarchy. You know, they become, they switch from the workers to the supervisors, or from the supervisors 
to the managers, you know, they switch to those roles. And then once you get into those, once you are able to go up into those roles, you know, some of the benefits or, or some of the disadvantages in, in certain cases, it depends on how you look at it, are that you don't get to go out and do some of the worker stuff anymore. You're now a desk person who's managing and admin and, and um, supervising as opposed to going out and working and producing. So, <coughs> depending on how, what your passion is, if you someone who loves to produce, um, that may be a disadvantage for you. If you are looking forward to that, that may be an advantage for you. Either way, it always seems that for those that are enjoy not producing anymore, only seem to want to produce when it's time to produce something that may get a lot of attention. And that's the problem I have. Because, no, I don't want to do the, stuff, the dumb stuff that, you know, the monotonous stuff we do all the time. But, oh, this is something that may be, you know, someone higher up my team and we might get some recognition for it and it might go viral, so to speak. Just to use that term, not necessarily viral, but oh, now I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. And I just don't think that's fair. I've seen that several times before at both bases that I've been, where the really cool jobs will come up, and they're really cool. And of course, that's when all the managers and, and the supervisors want to jump in. But Monday through Sunday, any other time, they're nowhere to be found. And so I was really looking forward to this job because I was like, yeah, you know, finally get to take some aircraft photos. I haven't taken some, in, I haven't taken any aircraft photos since I've been here. So, and I used to take them, take them a lot at Cannon. We we're constantly on the flight line. So to come here and haven't, I haven't done that in the several months that I've been here is was kind of like disappointing. So when I'm like, oh, we're finally gonna have a, a, a aircraft retirement. Of course I'll get this opportunity. And so, seeing that, all of a sudden we get the assignments for who's going to be taking pictures of what. And I'm looking at the people who are signing up for these things, and I'm like, oh, so you sign, so you want to take the really good photos. You want to be out there on the flight line. Huh. Hmm. I mean, so I had to fight for it. I was like, I wanted to do this. Like... I don't understand why this is a, this is a great opportunity for airmen, for young NCOs like me, for anybody that wants to do it. So why just not allow anyone that wants to do it to just do it instead of giving us assignments? How about we all just cover it because we want to? But that's neither here nor there. I don't make the decisions. They don't pay me enough. So... That's just uh, my thoughts on it. So mm, people probably don't really care about my thoughts, but that's my thoughts. I uh, about to head in. See everybody screaming into the office now. I'm trying to zip up my back for some reason. It's not zipping. All right, so I'm about to head in, and then I will see you all later as I head to the shoot and hopefully I will get some footage of myself and the aircraft and stuff when I'm out there so it should be a really fun day. So I ran in the shop at real quick before I head out there. Give me some pop drops but I've been coughing like crazy. Some of these and some more juice and some medicine so I can um, get through the day jeez louise but yeah all that stuff I just bought just reminds me of um, like when you're in basic and you get sick you just go to sick hall and they give you um, depending on what you got wrong with you if you're in pain they give you a pain pack and if you got a cold they give you a cold pack and it's basically medicine some stuff like what I just got some medicine and then um cough drops and um 
Yeah, and them cough drops are like candy at basic. Like, people used to be hunting you down. Oh, you got some menthol? You got cough drops? Because you just want something. Like, you just... I don't know. You just want something like candy. Like, it's like you crave it while you're there. So, this is the closest thing you get to candy is some little menthol. Um, what they call throat lozenges or whatever. It's the closest thing to candy and basic. So, pe those are like good negotiating power, too. You could be like, oh, I'll give you some of these if you uh, roll my socks. <laughs> take pictures on the flight line they're about to take off so I have ear pro in so I can't even hear if I'm talking loud enough for you to hear me <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool they just passed by so they're getting ready to take off and um yeah Some landings. So, yeah. Go ahead, your camera. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, y'all, so I just got done with this super crazy event. <sighs> Finally done. Very hectic, very tired. I gotta get in to the shop now with all my stuff so I can download my imagery or whatever and um, <sighs> get this done. So I'm not trying to be out here all day. And that's um, pretty cool. But um, just got a lot of work to do. And the whole point of being in public affairs or any type of newsy type field it's about who gets it first i mean you do want to have trustworthy and um, reliable information and honest information but you also want to be first so and then you want to be reliable and so to, to build your reliability in public affairs you have to put out newsworthy com newsworthy content in a timely fashion so me getting this stuff out today would help build that public trust and support of Holland Air Force Base or whatever. But by knowing, okay, when something happens today, it's out later on that day. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I got a lot of work to do. Got to caption a bunch of photos probably. I got to go through all these photos first of all. Then find the ones I like, then caption them, and then upload them to David. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later. Okay. It's 6.52 p.m. and I'm just not leaving work today so that lets you know how long of a day it was it's dark outside so yeah basically um, almost the last person to leave there's one other person still working so the last two people in, our, in the building or PA. Why? Because, like I told you, it goes off of who can get this stuff up first. And we had Airman Magazine here. So they put up their little video. And of course, their stuff is way cooler than ours. So, of course, their stuff got shared first. But as far as photos, I put up photos first, but I didn't get a chance to really go through all of them and edit them. So I only had a few to put up. So I'm gonna go home and still look through the rest and um, hopefully get those on David so they can get picked up by everyone in the world. <laughs> Got up in my, got up in my